Have you ever wondered on how much lighting is required for your VTubing setup or where to position said lighting? And at the end of the day, does lighting actually really matter? We're going to cover all that in today's video. And by the end of this video, you're going to have the knowledge that you require to make a proper judgment on how much lighting you need. And this advice and tips applies across 2D and 3D VTubing. Links for affordable lighting in the description down below. My name is Anubis Libs, and I am your VTuber Senpai. On this YouTube channel, we cover anything and everything VTubing and soon to be VR related. I upload here every Wednesday, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you happen to like today's video, make sure you smash that like button. Leave a comment down below what you thought about today's video or ideas for future videos. And well, subscribe. I do have a goal of a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So if you like today's content, make sure you smash that like button. And well, let's get into it. When I get messages on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, wherever, typically when people are asking me, hey, the Nubus mic tracking is not working correctly, what do I do? We look at the lighting. And usually I ask them to send me a picture or let's do a video call and show me the lighting that you use typically when you're VTubing. And this is what I typically see. But some people's setups are even darker than that. So let's just jump into the testing and see what's actually required. Now I have it as dark as possible in my bedroom. So let's see what we can do. Let's start with a smile. Let's lift our eyebrows and let's now test the eye tracking. Okay, let's move the head around a little bit. We see that the head is struggling a little bit. The eye tracking is struggling. Not so much, but it is a little bit, but it is having a little bit of trouble detecting my blinking. Now I have both of my monitors on either side of my main monitor on and well, Let's see how well this tracks. Let's start with a smile. Let's lift the eyebrows. And let's try the eye tracking. Let's tilt the head. And the head tilt seems to be a lot better than it was. So let's turn on some lights. Now I have one mini ring light turned on. Let's test it out. Let's start with the smile. Let's do the eyebrows. Perfect. Let's do the eye tracking. Cool. Let's do the head tilt. Okay. That seems pretty good. Let's turn on some more lights. All right. So now I got the mini ring light in front of me turned on and I got my key light, which is a giant 18 inch ring light as well. Let's start with the smile. Let's raise the eyebrows. Let's do the eye tracking. And let's do the head tilt. Okay. Now that we see lighting has clearly made a difference, how much of a difference did it actually make? Leave me a comment down below on how much lighting you think is actually required for your particular setup, but I feel the more lights you have on, the better tracking you will get. But the one thing that I will mention right now is if you're planning on doing any kind of mocap, AKA motion capture, kind of like how Code Miko or Fia from the virtual reality show is doing, you need to have as much light as possible because mocap is very, very important. It tracks every part of your face. So you need to have equal lighting all the way around if possible. And that will allow your face mocap run a lot smoother and well better. Okie dokie, so now that we got the lighting portion on how much light is required, let's talk about positioning real quick. Okay, so let's say this is our average gaming setup and our webcam goes here. So if you liked the mini ring light, really what you need to do is just move it just above the webcam here. Now, if you liked it when I had my key light on the side, what you want to do is position it here and if you're going to go with the mocap route i recommend you add another light here but also with the mocap route and well with any of these routes i actually really do suggest that you turn on your bedroom lights if you have bedroom lights and test that see how well that works and if you feel you need more lighting add more lighting as required now this is my opinion on what i feel you should do 
depending on which one you liked is what you should probably go with. At the end of the day though, everybody's opinions are gonna be different and everybody's gonna have different suggestions. What I do suggest for you is try it for yourself, see what works and then go with that. But what I really want you to do is leave me a comment down below with the one that you decided to go with or the one that you've been going with this whole time. Again, my name is Anubis Lips. I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5 to 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Come on by, say hi, let's talk about anime, gaming, VTubing, lighting, whatever. And well, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.